hi everyone thank you so much for tuning in and welcome welcome again in today's video I'll be showing you how to grip box braid roots in six different methods if you are new here my name is Gloria Mtui and if this is the kind of content you like watching kindly subscribe and turn on notification bell because in this channel I normally upload this kind of content so the first method you have to split your hair into two one section supposed to be smaller and this small section is the one I'm going to wrap on top of this big section down is small section so I'm going to hold the section together so here small section is the one I'm using to wrap so what I'm doing here I only wrap one time and after I wrap I'll use my thumb finger and the next finger to hold on top of this braiding and then other hand help me to separate the natural hair into two then the first section I use to wrap will be the first section to braid this is to avoid the hair to unravel and every time when you're braiding to cover natural hair you have to make sure you pull braiding hair on top of natural hair so that natural hair will not show out no matter which color you are using to braid the hair and after that I continue braiding just a normal braiding I will not show how I braid till end because I just want this video to be short all the method I show in this video is friendly for all hair type straight hair coil hair curly hair is very friendly so the method number one this is how it is you may pull up the hair does not slide and you can see the section they are even till end of this braiding second method I'll be using two strand of braiding hair while the third one will be natural hair so here I start braiding this is how I hold when I braiding I pull middle section up so that the down section can braid well and after the first three step I start add hair to avoid braiding hair to slide down and also to cover natural hair after I add the first section then I add again on other side so that all the three section can be equal here I pull the hair a little up so that the braiding hair can cover natural hair and then I continue braiding as you can see here the method I use is very easy very friendly for beginners even if you don't know how to braid just slowly slowly practice this method is easiest one and then continue braid just in normal this is how it is you can pull up the hair does not slide at all and you can see you cannot see where I add hair because I add very small section and also you cannot see natural hair method number three is not far from method number two different is a different way to hold the hair and different way to separate the hair after I hold the hair like this then I'll separate natural hair with braiding hair into two I mean only one side and then I will continue braiding I turn and then I continue braiding here the more I braid the more I'll add section of braiding hair on the small section okay let me turn here then you can see more clear like what I'm doing middle you can see this section is a bit smaller but don't worry the more I go I'll add a little amount of hair in that section so that it will be easy for me to cover natural hair of that side ok 
can see I add very small section if you add small section the hair will not show out where you add but if you add bigger section it will be easy for your braiding hair to show some difference this method also the hair does not slide and also it's very easy to cover natural hair so you can see you cannot see natural hair out method in number four I'll be using three strand over here one side you have to make sure you split smaller than other the small one I'm going to grab you may decide either on top or under all is okay so here the small section I'm going to put mid of my fingers I think the more you watch you understand more than my explanation just hold it like this and then this natural hair I will split into three so here I'm going to start with a three strand from down the section I hold with middle fingers is the one is going to be middle while other section I'm going to leave them like this you can see here going to be one section while down I only turn the hand so that I can grab the section under my hand then I continue braiding this method you no need to add hair the way you start is the way you are going till you finish the section this method is also easiest one because the three strand you started with is the one you are going with them till you finish and if you have problems with adding some hair on other sections I think this method will be good for you because here you don't need to add any hair from one side to another you just braid till end of this section and all the hair is even and after I finish braiding you hold well from the roots as you can see method number five is also to raise strand but here is a bit different because one side I split into two while other side I didn't split and the middle section I'll put on other section and natural hair I'm going to split into two so here I will use natural hair into two strand only and then one strand will be without natural hair then I continue braiding and as you see in this method I split natural hair into two means one side I braid without hair so that section I braid without hair is the biggest section so here I have to add some hair in this two strand I hold with natural hair so that this three strand will be even so the more I braid I will add some hair from left side and right side section so that this three strand will be all the same and then I'll continue braid till end of this box braid and this is how the hair comes out the braiding hair does not slide at all last method I'm going to do a kind of not less method so I split the hair into three and then I start braiding and after I braid six times and then I start adding hair this is how I hold the braiding hair so that it will be easy for me to add this section of hair then I continue braiding then I add hair again you can see how I hold the hair with my last finger and ring finger before I split the hair with my thumb finger this method I only add three times and after I add hair three times then I'm going to braid all the way till down and this is the last method for today's video I hope you enjoy watching this video 
as you can see all these six method after you braid the hair can move all sides i mean right side left side up and down so once you use one of this method it's very easy for you to style any style you want with your box braid because the hair can move all direction i hope you love this video and you get something if yes kindly give this video a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to share with your loved one you wish they know how to grip the roots of box braids i love you guys so much and i'll see you soon on my next video bye bye